Welcome, everyone, to the weekly anime news for the week ending April 9th, 2023. Let's start with some weird anime news. Um, Rumuko Takahashi just got knighted by wow. France. Yeah, mm -hmm. good for her. She got the uh, Chevalier de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres, Knight of the Order of really? Arts and Letters. Yep. Wow. By the French government. So good for you, Rumuko Takahashi. Golf clap. That's Golf clap. Exactly. Um, that is the only actual um, <clears throat> weird news of the week. We can move right into Enmenounnons. Uh, or when fans, she's trying to talk at night. Fans of Spy Classroom rejoice. We're getting a second season of Ooh. that, um, which looks to be more ridiculous spy fun. Uh, we're also getting an anime of Bong Dream, It's My Go. Oops, I'm sorry. There's not an uh, image for that one. Um, but yes, that is coming uh, this summer. So very exciting for that. Uh, moving on to some normal anime news. Uh, just anime news. Uh, TMS Entertainment has announced they are increasing their base salaries. A um, little bit more on that. Um, current employees will receive a 30% increase in monthly salaries. Um, new hires will receive a 24% increase in their monthly salary, wow. bringing new hires mm -hmm. up to about $1,900 US a month. Um, Jeez. this is above the new salary for new hires. Uh, the Institute of Labor Administration's uh, average is about $1,600 a month, so they're above the industry standard. Uh, that's nice. the that's the yeah. standard for prime companies on the Tokyo Stock Exchange, so they're kind of moving a little above that. That said. They did this because they, they didn't do advanced bonus pay last year. Oh, um, okay. And they're not doing advanced bonus pay this year. They're following the regular bonus pay. So they're basically pulling down on bonuses and pushing that into regular in Right. Okay. So that's more how this is happening. But still, a good thing. Yes. You know, normalize the salaries, make things easier. <laughs> hopefully um, I think everybody in the industry will start climbing to that hopefully, point. hopefully. yep yeah. that is kind of the hope and the goal there yeah. um, more on that in a little bit um, but we do want to talk a bit about Doraemon because that Doraemon film continues to chug up the charts <laughs> it's the number one film in Japan um, in its fifth weekend <laughs> wow it made 2.45 million US dollars this past weekend, bringing its grand total to just shy of 25 million dollars. Wow, Doraemon, yeah. our lord and savior, <laughs> the enduring popularity of a, of a robot cat, exactly. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so good for you, Doraemon. Keep um, on going, keep on going. Bring it. I never thought I'd, there'd be a moment where, where it would be like, Oh, yeah, Doraemon is the number one film in Japan. <laughs> 30 years ago, yeah, but not now. Yeah. So, uh. Exactly. Um, Verve is finally merging back into Crunchyroll with all of the complexities around uh, Crunchyroll and Funimation. Uh, Verve has announced that it will merge with Crunchyroll. All current Verve subscriptions, including Watch Series and Cues, will be migrating to Crunchyroll <clears throat> premium accounts. Um, now, Steve, you're mentioning something about this being um, uh, yeah, a greater I'll platform as well. Yeah, this is a uh, Verve was um, early when Verve split off initially mm -hmm. from Crunchyroll, or you know, actually they it was purposeful, it wasn't like there was mm -hmm. any drama, but a lot of YouTuber animators were mm -hmm. getting onto Verve, were able to get their stuff from YouTube onto Verve and being actually do a season of their stuff. <laughs> okay, and you know, and so that was a nice little platform for them to do, and they also got a little bit of money, so you know, hyping it and that kind of thing. And it has seemed to drop off on, on mm. YouTube stuff over the years. So this, this kind of makes sense a little bit. You yeah, know? exactly. Um, uh, Verve also, if you remember, added High Dive for a while right. and yep. then dropped that when they got, uh, when Funimation came in. So yeah. Yeah. Crunchy Roll is kind of all coming back together. Um, uh, also, just wanted to mention this is a kind of interesting and unusual. Um, there's a new Azure Lane OVA coming out called Azure Lane Queen Orders. It is described as a slapstick daily life story about the Tsundere Queen Elizabeth, which I think is hilarious. But 
Um, they're delaying it from May 10th to July 27th. Wow. The company announced that they discovered defects in both the anime itself and some of the bonus extras on disc. And they're going to have to like change the manufacturing and re redo a bunch of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Isn't that, oh God, that would suck so bad. You know, like you work on it and, and then you go, well, you know, the story's fine. You know, animation looks good, but guess what guys, we had this technical, technical glitch that we didn't mm -hmm. notice before. And now it's all done. We got to redo it. Run 10 million Blu-ray yeah. DVDs. What what what's wrong with yeah. this? <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Damn it. Damn it. Um, so apologies to everyone interested in Azure Lane getting for that for that OVA. You have to wait another three months or so. Hmm. Um also this week, items we want to mention, but not necessarily go into too much detail about. Um let's see here. Um actually we do have a thing. Uh Suzume is Still number one in China and South Korea. Um, it was in its second weekend and it made $22 million in a weekend. Yeah. Bring it total Damn. to 80 uh, oh. in 10 days. Um, meanwhile, um, let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Um, uh, so it, it's uh, do, 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 do. in South Korea, it's earned 29 million US dollars. Been get the second highest grossing film of the year to date in Korea. Mm. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you guess what the first one was? The first slam dunk. <laughs> of course it was. Oh, damn. Okay. Which made $34 million in South Korea. <laughs> wow. It is the highest grossing, it is the highest selling anime film of all time in South Korea. <clears throat> so, hmm. yes, anime is working. It, 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 is, it is successful. Um... So also, if you'll we'll be here next week, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting, I'm looking forward yes. to this. Yep, me too. Um, also, just worth mentioning, um, the Monday Totoro stage play in the UK won six Olivier Awards. Um, and uh, Toshio Suzuki will be returning as Studio Ghibli president following the resignation <clears throat> of Koji Hoshino in, at the end of March. Um, he uh, cited multiple reasons for his decisions. Um, there's some potential drama behind the scenes being reported in various ways. Um, but oh. this is just part of that whole shift around um, Hoshino was formerly president of Walt Disney Japan, um, mm -hmm. joined Studio Ghibli as president in 2008, chairperson in 2017, and then stepping down with Suzuki stepping back in. Mm. So I'm sure more to come on that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Future as the details become clear <laughs> exactly um so we have some analysis we want to move into the breakdown but before we do that let me let's talk about our trailer of the week um a bunch of trailers dropped this week and we watched a bunch of them and um we had to pick the one for pole princess <laughs> folks this is not a joke we're not joking <laughs> i'm sorry we're not <laughs> It's legit art. Don't think, of, don't think poorly of us. It's legit. So this is an all CGI ONA about pole dancing teenage girls because that's classy. It's art. It's art. Damn it. It's, it's art. art. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so this is the whole thing. Um, you get to see. Oops. Uh, oh, ah, dang it. But yes, you get. Um, uh, they, they released a trailer which showed a full dance routine by the main character this week, and it looks great. Yeah, it, that's that's the thing, folks. It actually looks good. The yeah. the animation of it, all the individual parts of it, actually runs very well. The mm -hmm. CGI animation is very flowy. It's it's um you know it's we watched it and we were just like yes yes more please thank you oh wait it's teenage girls doing full dancing oh, okay right i mean a little of the flexibility is like i don't think you know pelvises work like that but <laughs> um it was fluid it was interesting and and really a, a testament to <laughs> some serious chops making sure that that program ran like it was supposed to run mm -hmm. so impressive I, yes so I think the takeaway for this trailer is not so much for this particular anime, mm -hmm. 
but it is to watch for future things for the studio coming moving yeah. forward after this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because this is definitely a show card of what they can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And boy, can they? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, Tatsunoko Productions is sort of headlining this, so we'll see if there's more CGI from them in the future. But yeah, like this is really impressive, you know, um, CGI rigging, um, artistic visuals, mentioning the the the, the sky above and all the different things, all the elements of it. Well done. And we chose pole dancing. (laughs) Good old pole dancing. All right, let us move into the breakdown and talk about some of these news stories in a bit more detail. Uh, we definitely want to talk a bit more about uh, TMS and their uh, increase in salaries. Obviously, or perhaps not obviously, um, animated base pay has been a bone of contention for a few years now. Yes. In the anime industry. Yeah. Um, there have been discussions about that um, possibly changing, but no one really making big, big moves. This is definitely a big move. Thirty percent increase for current hires, twenty-four percent increase yeah. in new hires. That's yeah. a lot of percents. I I was expecting when you were talking about the increase, it was going to be like five or eight <laughs> percent. I was like, oh, you can, hey, crap. you can have spicy ramen. <laughs> you might be able to live in a very very small apartment alone without three other people. <laughs> and you can you can live wow. in your own one hundred square foot apartment. Exactly, amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, I I hope that. For all the discussions that's gone on for, mm. for you know several years, years now since we first started talking about it, that this is setting the new benchmark that mm. it might be above what you know the the industry standard is at the moment. Mm. But you know, hopefully, right. this is the one that took the step over the line that other people will be like, oh, they're pulling all the good talent, they're retaining mm, yeah. people that we would like to to, to pirate. We're going to have to step up to that at least, and then maybe offer the bonus element <laughs> to yeah. pull pull seasoned people away from them so well, that's yeah. the other interesting question about all this is you've got you know they're doing this by essentially reducing bonuses yeah mm-hmm. which implies that salary plus bonuses before was a decent chunk of change yeah right so so if you're if you're getting rid of your bonus but you're actually plugging it into your salary that means that you're expecting that bonus to happen no matter what Mm-hmm. So you know that means that you have a, a a definite income stream income stream that's coming through that you're mm-hmm. able to actually do these things to make yep. this this pay increase. And I think part of it is also because look at what's I mean we were just <laughs> talking about it now, isn't it? Mm. Um, you know, yeah. it's it, now that it's the, the anime isn't isn't in just Japan <laughs> and the dark corners of our basements here in America anymore. Mm-hmm. It's you know it's literally you know we can actually go to a movie theater and see Suzume. Yeah. yeah, and you know, and it's getting twenty million, twenty million here, twenty three million here, <clears throat> thirty million over here. Whereas before they were probably getting like what two, three, four, five million mm, in, their, in, that, in yeah. Japan. In Japan, yeah. So if they're noticing now that the profits are actually <clears throat> coming in, and it's not yeah. just merchandising mm-hmm. as the animation, then you know maybe they're they're finally figuring out. Oh, if we don't work our people <laughs> to literal death, yeah, and give them money and maybe a little bit of benefits, then mm. maybe they will. We will be able to make the monies in the future. Well, I think this also helps explain why, <clears throat> you know, for a long time people have said, "Oh, salaries are so low, salaries are so low," but people are still staying in the jobs, yeah, right, yeah. because there were still bonuses that would come in. And I'm assuming the bonuses come in when you finish a project. Right. Right. Like when the anime is done, which may be in three months, six months, a year, whenever. Right. Right. On, on different yeah, as I say, that, that's the difficult part <laughs> is that if your base mm-hmm. salary is very low and you're relying on that bonus mm-hmm. to come in in three, six, nine, twelve months, right. that, right. you know, it, I could see on the studio part being like, ah, uh, you know, we have this consistent expense and then we have a huge expense <laughs> depending on when the project ends. Why don't we sort of shave this down and say, right. hey, guys, you're going to have more to live on month to month. Mm-hmm. Right. And then if we retain any kind of bonus structure, that will just yeah. be like sweetening the deal. It, it'll right. be an extra bonus. You're living it, yeah. Your living mm-hmm. expenses will be covered at this point. So that'll keep you happier from month to month. 
and it, it makes sense from a studio perspective why when you're starting a studio you probably aren't paying high base salaries because yeah, right. your money comes in in one big chunk when you get the license yeah or when, when, when you get when you get the job to animate the thing so you're like well we, we you know we're literally getting in the money in these huge spikes we're going to pay in huge spikes yeah while the animators are like, that doesn't really work for us. Yeah. So I, I, I think exactly your point, Steve. I think as the industry has matured to this point, it's like, okay, no, the, the money is coming in, if not regularly enough, then um, there's enough of it that we can just kind of spread it out and make it more consistent yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Which is a good thing. I mean, this is this is nice. Maybe we'll see animators driving cars and actually you know, like going out to dinner, and buying all of the the pop uh, parade figures that they possibly have prize figures. Oh, it would be a wonderful world. I was talking to somebody at work who was uh, who was a he was a former med student who quit to become a programmer. Um, okay. Very interesting guy, and we were talking about health and so uh, so much and so forth. And we were talking about how you know rice is unhealthy. Um, and how, you know, over here it's like, oh, you know, rice is carbs and it's terrible. And, you know, but over in Asia, you know, they're eating rice every day and it's great. He says, yeah, because no one over there owns cars. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all walking to the station and walking uh, back from the right. station. So, right. you know, and it's not that carbs are horrible for you, but it's just, the carbs do generate extra sugar, but you can walk that off. Right. And it's a, it's a yeah. very different kind of, kind of, kind of life and experience because you don't need a car. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> Which is just very I had, hadn't had thought of that. It's like, oh, right. Anyway. Well, um, like all the people I knew who went down to New York City to get jobs where it's like, well, what do you do with your car? You don't need a car in New York City. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no point. <laughs> That's true. That. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. Um, we also want to talk a bit about Verve and Crunchyroll. Um, yeah, I did not realize that the Cartoon Hangover, Rooster Teeth, and Mondo were all on Verve yeah. as well. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, that was it. That's a big deal. Um, yeah. But I mean, we've known since the Funimation Sony takeover, we knew that pretty much all these properties are going to start circling the tube and coming back <laughs> into mm -hmm. into one direct stream part. And in fairness, it's not like they're killing Verve. Right. They're right. merging all those accounts back into Crunchyroll. It's Crunchyroll Premium, so. Yeah. You know, you're you're still getting that stuff. My question is, what happens to all of those little mini properties? Like, is Crunchyroll going to keep them on long term? Um, I bet there's going to be some interesting discussions going on now. <laughs> this is, uh, has been decided to fully merge. Yeah. That uh, you know, who knows whether profitability will will play yeah. a key feature on whether those little properties stay. You know, I mean, if they can prove that they're going to bring money to the to the deal yeah mm -hmm. it's also a question kind of a what is crunchyroll's brand right yeah because yeah because <clears throat> the whole reason why they let verve go so mm. to speak was because verve was having uh, heading in other directions with the mm. and with other and types of and styles of animation it wasn't just anime it was just all these other things that were coming in and it was just you know, people doing a one episode, a three episode, mm -hmm. or, or, you know, stuff like that, and just throwing it in there with Mondo and, and all that other mm -hmm. stuff. And so if they're, if Verb, if, if they're bringing Verb back in, you know, I, I feel that, you know, for, if, if it were me, I think Crunchyroll would, would, you know, if I were the overlord of Crunchyroll, um, I say goes. <laughs> the Crunchy um, Lord. <laughs> um, I, you know, literally, I would be like, okay, well, Verve and what comes underneath Verve is a additional cost to your Crunchyroll Premium, mm. and so if you still want these things, I, I, I feel my gut tells me that's what they're going to do is that they're going to mm. say, yes, we've taken Verve back, and we're going to give it on, put it onto our platform for better streaming, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. It's a, if you do the deal of our premium, then you'll get blah blah if you want to get Verve. Mm -hmm. um i think Verve if, if still... you do the platinum level membership, oh, membership. <laughs> right exactly mm -hmm. um otherwise they're just going to just <laughs> absorb the anime anime part of it mm -hmm. and either condense all the rest of it because it mm -hmm. is primarily north american stuff mm -hmm. and and sell it as something else or just get rid of it yeah, yeah i don't see how you pull that back into crunch without doing a crunchy yeah, roll without... 
extras, Crunchyroll. They already have Crunchyroll originals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go with that, which is not really the same thing. Um, so yeah, well, they've they've done up. stuff before, yeah. like the Hatsune Miku um, <clears throat> music <throat> videos of like the you know the the whatever Malaysia tour, <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's just under. And I think they also had one that was like Crunchyroll Talks, where hmm. it's just a bunch of Crunchyroll or it used to oh, be okay. a yeah, bunch yeah. of Crunchyroll employees, and they would just talk about like their animes that they really liked that are mm -hmm. on the Crunchyroll like list. Mm -hmm. And it's like those just kind of floated around in the background. Like typically, yeah. I ran into them accidentally. I was looking for something else, and I'd be like, "Oh, I didn't even know they had yeah. that." Oh, I'm on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Yeah, you search for talking to a video, you will find I, I put a bunch of videos Damn. up on Crunchyroll back in the day. Yeah. So they mm -hmm. go bread. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so that's how maybe, low the bar was. So maybe what now that they're pulling verb back in, maybe now they're going to sort of reorganize it yeah. into a tab. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That you can tab yeah, over right. and with a certain print with a membership level that that tab is active. Yeah. And that's just they organize it by just dumping everything to that tab mm -hmm. and being like, "Good luck, y'all." <laughs> yep. Or do we think that maybe that they'll take the Funimation stuff and some of the Verve stuff and combine it mm -hmm. and make a make a free YouTube channel? Just throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. No idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it. th th there's there's definitely a reason for the acquisition, but you yeah. know, it's kind of hard to tell what what it is mm -hmm. and you know how it's gonna affect things it's also um, a question of what what is sony's goal here too yeah um you know it, do they do they see crunchyroll as purely an anime play or are they seeing all of that content i mean they they knew verve was a you know a part of this whole thing so they could be saying hey that would, that's a good opportunity i mean if i were sony and i were looking over the, the across the pond at like well uh across the bearing straight um, mm -hmm. uh, across at uh, at uh, Shogakukan and Shueisha and so forth, I could be like, <clears throat> this is sort of our shonen manga magazine, right? Like we can right. we, we we can find new talent, new products, new new things through that, spin them up, and then build our own franchises out of that. Mm. Um, okay. there, there's a lot of potential there if they want to hang on to it and invest in it. See, I, 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 when you announced that it was merging, it just made me think mm -hmm. that Sony was crushing down the number of <laughs> extraneous properties and, and things that are going it on in the background. Could well be. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, they, they pulled right stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just saw there was something like a couple days ago. It's like, oh, there's a big sale. And you click on it and it goes, mm -hmm. goes to the old right stuff site with like, ex, you know, whatever stock they're liquidating that they're, mm -hmm. that now, Crunchy Store is going to do right. I don't know whether Right mm. Stuff's going to run Crunchy Store or whether Crunchy Store is running Right Stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's you know what I mean. They're they're getting rid of that extraneous piece and pushing it under Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. So that was my thought of like hearing this, where it's like you know Sony's probably just trying to eliminate the number of extra things on their plate. Probably because I don't even know what the hell else they're investing in. <clears throat> <laughs> I, I can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, it can't just have been Funimation and, and Crunchyroll yeah. now. That oh, yeah. all the properties in their portfolio, it's probably like, listen, we just this is too unmanageable to have all this stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Just stick or, certain things under functionality groups and let the group itself manage what's going on in there, and then mm -hmm. they report back to Central, and we're we're good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Or it could be they do what like HBO Max does mm -hmm. and and create a hub system where they have mm -hmm. actually like turner movies on there they have dcu yeah. they have dc the dc <laughs> cartoon movies mm -hmm. um as a hub so you know <clears throat> that might be something that country is doing or yeah or, or maybe there might or maybe there might be a huge ass um new streaming that country is going to become and this is just one of many things that's going to come you know kind of to your point yeah John, under under that banner of here's Crunchyroll and then we have Crunchyroll that you know and love and then there's all the other people. Yeah, yeah. remember back when uh, a lot of the anime licensors would also have like a Japanese live action horror label and yeah. a you know all that kind of stuff. So they kind of diversified into a bunch of different things. That could be kind of their their direction. To your point, is you know, Crunchyroll is now sort of a larger. It, it's a streaming platform. Yes, it's a streaming yeah. platform, 
and then there here's the anime here's the north american stuff whatever i can see it yeah, yeah. I mean that would that would organize things there's, a little bit better. It was it was the little pirate king. It was the little pirate king that could. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All those pirate apps that were out there those days, they wish they could be Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someday I hope we get a book. Yes. <laughs> that that explains what happened <laughs> in the yeah. early days of Crunchyroll and how they went legit and all that. I would love to know. It'll be the title. The, the chapter will be titled <clears throat> We Had Our Michael Corleone. <laughs> and this is the one guy who said, We're going to go legit, guys. Mm, We're going to go legit. legit. <laughs> who knows? Uh, cool. That is all the news that we had to talk about today. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you all next week. Have a great week. Sayonara. Yes, do for